So for me, with the burning chambers, um, research always starts with place, always the sense of the heat and the smell of a place, the colour of the sky, the trees, the dust under your feet. But with this particular series, of course, it was what did people believe? What did they care about so much in the Protestant religion versus the Catholic religion that made people prepared to leave their homes, to forsake their families, to turn upon their neighbours, just really, just so that they could worship in their own language or just really because they believed a different sort of sacrament should be said in a church or a temple on a Sunday. And for me, it was being in Franschhoek in Southern Africa, where the novel first came from, the idea, the inspiration for the novel, and standing and looking at a painted uh, sailing board of one of the ships that had left Amsterdam in the 17th century, and seeing, you know, as I ran my finger down the list of names, and seeing the name of a family that I'd written about in Labyrinth, my first historical novel, the name of a family from the 13th century, there painted on a board in a Southern African museum in the 19th century. And that really brought it all alive, you know, for me. But after that, of course, you have to go back to the records, you have to look at the names, you have to look at the names that are lost and the names that are found. You have to look at the disguises that people took. And you have to go back to the records themselves because many people wrote down their experiences. They wrote what it felt like to be in a diaspora to be traveling across the world and to take the few possessions that they had on their backs. And that for me is always what um, the great Neil McGregor, uh, when he was at the British Museum, used to call the charisma of things. So it's always a something. It's always me putting out my hand and touching that painted board and thinking of all the people whose hands and spirit going back hundreds of years have put their hand on that board before me. And before you know it, you've got a novel. <laughs>